Hey, everybody. So, uh, sorry, I just blew my so <coughs> I might cough. Okay. Um, so we're doing this thing because, so Ava is here in Vegas and I was thinking about it last night. So, um, this whole drug test thing started because Ava, wait, watch the fan. Ava was saying, oh, I'm going to do this drug test and da, 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 and because we, okay. The whole thing started with someone told us that Ava did heroin. We had no idea about this. It, this was secondhand information, you know, hearsay. So we were like, I don't know. So we were saying that because she was, you know, she's always talking shit about our channel. And that was just some information someone told us. So we were like, well, that's interesting because you told us you were sober longer than Richard, which I found crazy since she's only 23. So I'm like, I don't know how long you can really be sober when you're 23 because what age can you even start doing anything? You know what I mean? You're 23. So I kind of laughed at that. But um, she was the one that just kind of started that thing when she's always claiming we're not sober. And then she's like, I'm going to do this drug test. And she said it's some weird thing where it takes right. 15 days or something. BS, I don't fucking know. That might be true, but I don't know. I don't know anything about these things. So she does it. But I forgot she's coming to Vegas. So then I'm in New York, and uh, Richard decides he's going to do this Amazon drug test. What does it cost? Like $5? Yeah, and it takes like three bucks. Like three bucks, and here's the thing with Amazon: you can have that delivered to your hotel, you can have it delivered to a locker. I mean, so there's no excuse of like, oh, I'm in Vegas or no. I mean, Amazon delivered it anywhere. Seriously, you put a hut somewhere, put an address, they'll they'll deliver. But um, the thing is, uh, I was in New York because Richard did the drug test here. He got an idea to do it, and then I was like, you know what? I should do one when I get home because. People keep saying that we do drugs and they think, you know, I'm going to do cocaine with my clients because I literally offered it and people want me to. But I'm like, you know what? I'm going to stay strong. I don't want to do cocaine while I'm here. And I was like, and I think, you know, doing a drug test when I get home, if anything, will just keep me from even being tempted to just be like, oh, let me just try a line or something when a client, it was like, no, I'm just not going to do anything. And, you know, for so many reasons, also, I am getting really old <laughs> and it's just not nearly as desirable. But also I, now I take care of Annette and richard and gloria and casper and so it's just like what are my priorities but i was like i volunteered to do a drug test because i was like i just want to do it for myself and i felt really proud about it because i did not do Ava. any cocaine okay and so i just did that drug test and some people might say we faked it whatever you know what people can say whatever but for me i know i did not and i i passed it and richard got to see that i didn't do anything when i was in new york so i felt proud for myself the only thing i did thc I literally just did a bong hit before I did the test. Well, so, hold on, hold on. They're all saying she already took a test before Vegas. I know. So this is Richard. That's, I'm getting to that. Sorry, but that's no, I know, no, no. Here's the thing, you guys. Her taking a test before she went to Vegas was like me taking a test before I went to New York. It's easy to stay sober at home often. The question is when she's on vacation in Vegas with her friend Ruby, who clearly is on something. Um that's when you take the test after that not before vegas most people stay sober before vegas like she planned it that way i'll take a test before she went to vegas i forgot she was even going to vegas but now i'm like oh that timing is interesting because that would be like me taking it before i went to new york what would be the point of that especially when i was away from rich being like yeah rich let me give me the test before i go to new york oh no i don't want to take it after new york I know I've been away for 11 to 12 days, or, yeah, like, but let me take it. Yeah, a big party town where my clients are like begging me to do drugs with them, but let me take it before I go to New York. Do you understand that is our whole issue? That's the most ridiculous thing. And if that's her argument, then she's clearly high. Do you get what I'm saying? Because I'm saying challenging her, we gave her the money, go order the test, send it to your hotel room. I'm telling you, Amazon definitely delivers the hotel room. We've done it a million times when we lived in New York and Vegas. We sent her the money. Yeah, we sent her the money. We did. Richard did. He sent it on, uh, what are those, the Super Chats or whatever? Cash up, no, cash up. Oh, cash up? You cash up? Cash up. Yeah, okay, whatever he did. I didn't know how he did it. No, I just told him to send no, it. No, she said, said, give me a cash up like a junkie. Like a junkie said, send me the fucking money. Yeah, That's right. So fast. No, but here, so fucking so fast. We, we cashed after, which we can but prove. Now, but after we get, the anyways, money, now okay, okay, hold on. But listen, she can prove me wrong with that $3 Amazon test. And then I'll shut up. That's all she has to do. But she won't. And not, not when she goes home. Because I'm sure she knows somebody that has clean pee or something like that. And she, you know, can get, I don't know, she might be, she's a shady little girl. But here, I don't think anybody she knows has clean pee. Not that girl she's with. 
That yeah. Ruby girl <laughs> is intoxicated. To the, I mean, so I think that's why I'm challenging her to do it here before she gets home because she might have a, she might even have a siblings a little I don't even know her story but you know someone usually knows somebody and so I have some little kid pee for him but that's like that's why I'm like do it do it like uh where's your test here where's your test? you know what I mean you still have yeah it? my test over there yeah and if you could have shown me peeing we would have shown that but we couldn't but we tried to show no, as much as we could possibly show we showed as much as we could without getting violated yeah and it's clearly I was dehydrated and it's and it's THC, and I was so dehydrated. Remember, I said we literally had tur turbulence on the plane, so they could only come around once for water. Oh, look! Someone called called Joy a cunt. See? Hey, see you, I don't care. Yeah, you guys use the cunt word all the time. Hey, don't bother me. I called myself a cunt last night. Do you guys forget about that? So for hey, just so you know, Tammy it Sage. Bother me. Hey, Tammy, Tammy, you see, Joy is responding to her audience. So she, so when you get mad at her for using the c word. She's basically reflecting the type of people that she's dealing with. Yeah, they're c words. No, I call myself that. I said so when I don't have explained. my weed. I said when I don't have my weed. I just some yellow pee. No, they didn't even. So I refuse to buy. This is crazy. I refuse to buy water at the airport because it's so expensive. So I just drank from the fountain. They have a fountain at the airport, which is oh, that's fortunate. Um, which you can barely use. Like you know, those things are so hard. You never have the right amount of pressure coming out of. Anyways, so then I thought, oh, I'll just get some water on the plane. They only come around once, and they're so they're so just chintzy with even the water. It's like I don't need all the ice, and I just like I forget to ask for no ice. So you get about a little sip of water because they put a bunch of ice in your cup. So I got that, and then they said that with the turbulence they couldn't let the stewardess walk around again. So they only came around the one time, and I was like, oh man. So like, and then I asked Rich. Did you bring any water at the airport? He's like, oh, I forgot. I got water at home. I'm like, well, yeah, I get that, but <laughs> I'm thirsty. So then when I got home, I did the test. So <clears throat> we're obsessed with Ava. Are you kidding? Oh, she no, literally no, she did an expose on me. No, I, I'm just literally doing a blog about her. No, no, no. She did. Oh, have you guys did? I'm maniacal or whatever. No, 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 no. That girl. And for one thing, she first came at us. And like, also, the, the first one, person and, she called was us in Vegas. No, 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 no but I was saying. She also like the, how we knew Ava is she started attacking us. Like, so I mean, it's like I think the obsession is clearly the other way, but yeah, now we just think it's funny. Yeah, no, um, it's, you're a fucking idiot. Yeah. No, but we think it's funny, and, and honestly, this one is a good one because I was gonna drop the Ava thing until I was watching her lives, and I'm like, you know, to be honest, I do not have a lot of exposure to people on heroin. So I don't really understand it, but I was watching her and her friend Ruby's live and I was like, they're acting really weird for alcohol is what I can, because I just thought, oh, they're just on alcohol. And I was looking at it and I was like, and then I mentioned it to Richard. I was like, I was saying how they were acting because they were not really like drunk. They were more like, like just kind of like out of it. Like Ava was doing this test thing where she was like, it's right in her face. And they're just kind of like, Ugh. like almost doing like the elephant walk thing. And I was like, I was talking to Richard about it, and he's like, oh, that doesn't sound like, that sounds like heroin. And I was like, oh, shit, that's right. Because that's what the whole thing, though, I had honestly forgot about that whole thing. I was like, oh, they're just here in Vegas getting drunk. But then I was like, mm. And then I thought, oh, dear Lord, that's why she took their test before she went to Vegas. Because she was probably sober then, but of course lost her sobriety here in Vegas. And I was like, oh, duh. So then it all made sense. And then I go, her go taking their test before she goes to Vegas is like me taking the test before I go to New York. That's pointless. We're not questioning if you were sober before Vegas. We're questioning now after I watched those lives. And then her friend the next day, while well, Ava was supposed to at the gym. I don't know if she goes to the gym. I didn't know. I'm just saying, she does go to the gym. I was saying, I don't know if she was or not. I didn't see that part. Her friend, I just saw her friend being outside, walking around, just hard to understand because she was so kind of like out of it. And I was like, this girl's weird is what I thought at first. But then I realized she was clearly like on something. So then I go, wait, if her friend is clearly a heroin addict, then, you know, you kind of are who you hang out with. So then I'm like, oh, OK. And it just kind of all started being like, oh, well, that's why she did the test before she goes to Vegas. And that's why those girls were acting so weird on the live the night before. And that's why they've barely done any lives because they're so out of it. And then it's just like. And they even ahead of time said, oh, we're probably not even going to come on until like noon because they already knew they were going to like nod out for so long. And it's just like people have been saying they've barely been doing any lives for the amount of time they've been in Vegas. Like usually Ava is like more doing lives. So just kind of all just kind of 
went together in my brain. And all she has to do to prove me wrong is do the darn three dollar test from Amazon. Hey, hold on, Gypsy. While she's in, I literally, while she's in Vegas, Gypsy, I don't want it done when she goes Gypsy home. Gypsy Rose. Oh, I literally just helped us. I turned on my YouTube, saw Ava's doing a live stream. I stumble in there. You know what you guys are talking about? Mackenzie's talking about what I said three days ago. You guys, the same yeah, people you here. Guys were you guys are all talking. Richard and and, and guess what? Life. Ava's talking about. It's talking about the healthy family force. So that's what you guys are talking about in Ava's room. So shut the fuck up, Gypsy. I see what's going on. Stop lying, you bitch. No, seriously, we came on here because they were talking shit about us in the live. I was like, oh, Richard, you're popular. I literally looked up and it's like, Richard, and it was the only thing I saw and uh, that everyone was talking about. Oh, good. Is that my Casper stuff? Yes, it is. Oh, let me do that. Okay, turn me Come around. Yep. Turn me around. This yep, is high priority. This is high priority. He's so pissed off about this. He's so pissed off about the Woo! situation of yes. the, 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 the,